So this is about how we can uh, reduce the amount of energy we use in our homes. Now, uh, what we're looking at really here is we're trying to either reduce the amount of electricity we use or reduce the amount of fossil fuels that we burn. Let's look at one idea. Um, and the idea is using a more energy efficient version of the same thing. So imagine I've got two fridges here. This is an old fridge. It um, has a power rating of about 200 watts. That's not so good. But over here, I've got a new fridge, which has a power rating of 180 watts. So they do the same job, that this one is more energy efficient. Um, it's got a better electrical rating. Um, the disadvantage might be with this one, the new one might be more expensive than the uh, old one. So that might be a problem. This one could cost more money than that one. I could also use different appliances to do the same job. I've got a potato that needs baking. Do I use an oven or do I use a microwave? Well, although I like the taste of a potato cooked in an oven, the microwave is much more energy efficient and reduces the amount of energy I use. My oven is, uh, uses a lot of energy. It's, let's say, 2 kilowatt oven. My microwave is only 700 watts. The oven I use for an hour and a half to cook my potato. The microwave is done in 15 minutes. This one uses less electricity than this one. I can also look to prevent heat loss in my house. Uh, but I can use lots of different things. I can use double glazing. I can use loft insulation in my attic. I can use draft proofing around my doors and windows. And I can put insulation in my walls. Um, and they all cost a different amount. My double glazing cost me £3,000. Loft insulation only cost me £150. Which one is most cost effective? Well, I do a payback time calculation. The payback time is the cost of the um, thing I'm buying, so the cost of my double glazing, and I divide that by the amount of money I save every year. So, for instance, with double glazing, it costs me £3,000, but I save £200 every year, so I can calculate that my payback time is 3,000 divided by 200 equals 15 years. Can you calculate the other three in this table? Well done. You should have found out that the lost insulation had a payback time of two years, draft proofing had four years, and cavity wall insulation was 500 divided by 100 equals five years. So, which one is the most cost-efficient method of reducing energy loss? I look at the payback times and I see that is, da-da-da, two years, that's loft insulation.